have a look here at Draw Plus X8. Digital art and design made easy. Your legacy software from Serif. As you can see, I've been going through some of the old ones. This is an example of what you can do. It's neat, it's starting down here on this side. There's a whole lot of images and you can just drag them, stick them into place, resize them, flip them and do all sorts of things like that to them. And they don't look so bad. <laughs> This is another example. Now this is the old software. It's it's a dates on here. Nineteen ninety one to two thousand and fifteen. Now I've put a whole lot of stuff on a folder here, but the um the information in the folder here is what's well, some of it's their backup stuff, so I don't treat people as bad as they are, treat them as good as you are. This is my old address as far as I remember. I think the one new one's got M. Martin in the middle of it, but as you can see, it's fully editable. Um, these here, I'm not sure why I might have used this for editing. These are huge piles. I probably shouldn't have clicked on it. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, it's going to take ages. Um, these are for our local paper, our local newspaper. These, these, um, and I put them on a, on a, well, I'm going to bring them around. See, that's, I put them, I cut them out, and I fix the image up, and then I put them on our Tokura historical page that I do with Rama Tunapopo. Um, another one, which is 2017. Close that one because it's big. When you open something up, it takes an amount of memory on your computer, and when you close it, it releases that memory so you can use it for other things. If it's some a, a really large file, it takes up so much memory, it slows your whole computer down. So you don't really want stuff like that. I use this for another image. This is one of their demos. Sorry, God. You can take the demos and then change them around and do what you want to do with your, your, yourself. This is another one of mine. If not us, who? If not now, when? You must all know someone who procrastinates and puts things off over and over again and you're just like, this is, I did this originally for my sister. Her husband's in a, a rock band. He traveled the world as a guitarist and I just sort of threw this together and in, in the end um, her one had a name on it but this one here I've just put it like that and it's just a whole bunch of instruments and so it's a musical happy birthday and I can if I want put individual names on it so that people will think it's you know it'll be personal for that person if it's got their name on it. These are examples. 
that Suresh put in this, these ones like this. They're not our ones. Um, one of the ones, oh, here's my pop, this one, all these ones I did from scratch. I got an image and then put the words and the text in and, and I put give, I give this to the religious people I know um, for the happy birthday. And it's quite a popular image, that one. Rather bright and, and cheerful sort of thing. What else is here? This sort of thing. These things are the things you can do with it. So if you want to make, see how I can pull it apart? It's to show that you can actually do that with these. And there's like shadows and things like that. It's very good. Very, very interesting. But the one I wanted to show you, which is um, really good, is the car. Here it is, the car. Now this car is put together like you can pull parts off just to show you that the car, see that's a shine and, and you know you can just take things off. You see how these are little wee things? They all add up, part of the window and you can just take the car apart basically. And so someone put a lot of effort in there, putting this together, and it wasn't me. <laughs> but it's a, it's wonderful what you can do. And it's just to show you what you can do and how um, good the software really is. You've got your layers over here, you've got your gallery, you've got your brushes and styles and things. And you can use them to help. Um, that's the background. If you click on the little eye over here, it turns things on and off and hides them. Makes it more interesting. You can do, so it, it's all about images and stuff like this with this software. And it's just an example of the stuff you can do. So if you're making a baby poster, um, Sarif was very good at making this sort of interesting stuff, you know, um, posters and things like that. Now, when you use this old software of Sarif, they have a ungroup button down here. This whole thing is pieces of images uh, you can ungroup it here and then you can take them apart if I group it back up again now I'll ungroup it and then I'll <laughs> take something out eventually I'll get to a tooth There's a piece of a tooth there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's what they dog is. It's pieces. And these people put them together in vectors. And it's very time-consuming, I would imagine. I've never really gone that far. I just do probably what you'd call basic images, like Happy Birthday and Happy Easter and that other Happy Birthday one there. Mine are more like... Um, they carry a message, and hopefully it's a, it's a, like this one here about greed. I remember making this one. As greedy and selfish people are killing us, poisoning our environment, destroying the wildlife, and killing the planet. And the idea of this is just to um, get, give people the idea that the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not doing us good, supporting billionaires and things, people like that. These images are really nice little flowers, and that I like those. They can be they can be um, 
taken apart as well. Now you see here they're grouped. So you can ungroup them. And then you can pull them apart. Now because it doesn't have ungroup on it, it's not one of these, it's a, a separate image. And if you double click on them, you can, I'm not sure on these, this program. Um, on the other ones, you double click and they open, load another image. Now there's a poster. This is an example they gave. Eating a balanced diet is great for the body and the mind. And see it's grouped. So it must be, oh no, there's a, see those are just, and you were allowed to use them when you buy the software, you get these, a bunch of examples, and you can use them as well. So that's, that's helpful too. Ah, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah, I hope that this gives you an idea of what you can do with this software and some of the stuff I've done anyway. And it helps you out. If you get software like this that's very creative and they give you good examples with it as well, but you can sit down and start from scratch and say an A4 or an A3 piece of paper and then you can create something really neat. So that's for jokes with James and Jimmy, that page, on Facebook, a, a humour page. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea. I'm not looking at the tools or anything here. I'm just showing you stuff that I've done to give you an idea what can be done. And if you got the software yourself, this is the sort of thing you could do if you had the patience and you wanted to try and do something different. The other thing too about this older software is it's not very popular now and therefore you can do images and stuff that other people can't do now and they'll be looking at trying to figure out how you did it think, and they'll be looking at the modern software and you're doing it in the um, older software and they, they won't be able to copy you. Or it would be a lot harder. So, you see that? How it's done? It's very good, isn't it? Anyway, I'll leave that at that. Just give you some ideas. I hope this you find this useful.